Hey there guys. So today's review will be another spray gun bag. But before that, I would like to talk about um, some some things about the channel. Uh, I have not been thinking about selling anything I buy uh, or giving anything away. Uh, I don't really make money from doing this. It's just for fun, uh, just for the hell of it. Um, so please, understand you know comments uh, asking me to give things away or anything about the bags uh, I don't really know what to say about them because I'm not able to give anything away uh, I don't really make much money that's why you don't see me buying like you know dozens and dozens of spray gun bags and having like lots of spray gun videos or any other collectibles um, again I just want to showcase the you know any product I may acquire. Uh, I love you know uh, just showing them off. I love um, sharing uh, my passions with you know my audience. Um, so again, I'm sorry that some of the products I may show are sold out. Or, you know, some of you may hope that I will give things away. Those, you know, I can't give anything away. And I'm sorry that things are sold out. So, uh, but, also on the subject about, you know, spray gun bags. I'm hoping to do more than just spray gun bags. Especially since the bags do uh, uh, burn a hole in my pocket. <laughs> uh, so, and I'm not really the biggest on uh, bag collecting. So, uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned for other uh, kind of videos too. But, of course, I will also do spray gun bags that uh, may uh, come out that tickle my fancy. Anyway, let's do a, I guess, unwrapping of this spray gun bag. Ah, okay, so uh, if you don't know, every spray ground bag should come with a sticker. I know I've gotten comments about that. Uh, yeah, come with their, you know, uh, official stickers. The shark mouth spray ground logo. So yeah. Um, ah, this is the. Paris versus Florence bag. Okay. So you can see. I'm gonna open it up. Let's check it out. Okay. Ooh, fresh bag smell. It has a really nice feel to it. I mean, and it's look. I like it. I like the feel of the material. It looks nice. So as you can see, their uh, Paris uh, line of their bags where you can see the LV style and also combine with the Gucci style. All right? But you know, of course it's not totally like that. You see the money symbols within the Gucci-esque side of the bag. All right, hopefully you see it well. Okay, got these little tags. Love their uh, little metal um, logo up here, which is cool. Uh, 
Uh, if you've seen my other spray gun video bags, I doubt this will be anything different uh, function wise. You know, uh, the extra bits that this bag will have probably won't be all that different from other bags. Uh, the little water bottle pocket, which is, I've always thought these were small. So, I don't know. I'm not a fan of those. Uh, one on each side. Okay, the secret pocket they have here, the stash pocket on the side. They have their, um, I don't know, you can make this a back pocket or, yeah, down here, unzip it. And this could be a luggage, you know, uh, luggage. You can put this, you can, you unzip this, the bottom right here. You unzip the bottom right here. You can put this over your luggage handle. Okay? So travel friendly. Uh, let's see. There's a top zipper, the top pocket. Right there. What I'm seeing that makes this bag a bit different. Ah, right here. You can see. There's a zipper right here. Let's check it out. That's it. Look at that. It's a, a huge front pocket. It's kind of weird. Um, I guess some you could fit some clothes and stuff in here. I mean, it's a weird pocket. You know, it covers the whole front of the bag. You know, you could figure out what you want to put in it yourself. So yeah, but I mean, it's a it's a different feature that not all the bags usually have. So that makes it de definitely another feature that makes this particular bag stand out, which is you know a plus. Yeah. So yeah, let's zip that up. Yeah. So let's check the inside of the bag. Also, they have these uh. You know, rustic looking um, zippers. It's okay. Zipper handles. Uh, yeah, inside, you know, very, uh, very generic, very predictable with other spray gun bags. As you can see, you know, laptop pocket, zipper right here, you know, another pocket right there. And that's it. So, um, it's pretty much it with this bag. Uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The best thing about spray gun bags are the look. So if you buy a bag that you absolutely love the look, that's practically, that is pretty much all that matters. Uh, yeah, the, the stop, uh, the functionality of each bag is really the same as every other bag. You get a few standouts, like the, the Nomad, which I hope you saw the review to that one. Uh, but most of all, but pretty much all bags are usually the same in function. Uh, they usually don't have uh, that many different features. This one has its biggest, different fe its biggest feature is the front pocket, the huge front pocket. Besides that, that's it. Uh, but what I liked is the look of this bag. Uh, I thought it looks really cool. So again, that makes it a buy for me. Uh, right here, you can see the shark guy over here, which is cool. This one has a green outline. Shark bat, shark guy over here, black outline. Makes it a little uh, different for me. You know, you can see over here, the green outline over here, the black. So yeah. Uh, the bottom so that is it for the Paris versus that is it for the Paris versus Florence shark bag from spray ground um, I hope you like it uh, I hope you subscribe um, and I hope you comment this one was um, I believe a $90 
Uh, it's sold out. Uh, like I said, uh, I won't be doing that many spray brown bags in the recent... Uh, I won't be doing that many spray brown bags coming up. Because uh, I haven't bought anything, any spray brown bags yet. Uh, because they do burn a hole in my pocket. They're not the cheapest bags. Uh, they're mid-range, but still buying a lot of them is not the most sensible for me. I don't necessarily collect them. You know, I like a few of them, so I get them. Plus, I love to review them for you guys, uh, especially the ones that I like. You know, I like to review those ones, see if you like them too. Um, but a lot of the ones that I bought has sold out, so of course, others like them as well. Uh, yeah, I said, but I did say that these do burn a hole in one's pocket. You know, most people, they buy one or two. I have a few. I. I don't collect them, but I have a few of them. So, what can I say? They burn a hole in my pocket. Anyway, uh, I hopefully will make different content as well as some spray ground bags that may pop up that I have saved the money for and bought. Again, uh, I don't make any money from this. This is just for the hell of it, you know, for fun. So, please bear with me. But yeah, so hope you hope hope you guys like the review. Later.